Hello, math students. We are going to look at a brief lesson on simplifying radicals. Uh, radicals, or square roots, at their foundation are a multiplication operation. What number times itself equals the number under the radical symbol? And there is an awesome result because it is a multiplication operation. If you have a product of two numbers under the radical, you can break that up so that you multiply the radical of each factor. So uh, just as a quick example, if I saw the square root of uh, 4x, for example, I could break this up into the square root of 4 times the square root of x. The square root of 4 is 2 times root x can be written uh, with the number in front of the radical. Just like with variables, if you have a number in front of a radical expression, uh, it, multiplication is implied. Technically speaking, with Square roots in algebra, there is a plus minus in front of the answer. Uh, but in geometry, we're pretty much just going to be looking at the positive version. This is mostly for geometry students, so mostly we're just going to concern ourselves with the positive version. But technically speaking, algebraically, when you take the square root, there's a negative answer as well. Negative 2 squared is also 4. Um, okay, so I'm going to outline two quick procedures on how to simplify radicals. Both of them involve factoring. Uh, one is going to be the factor tree method. Uh, I'm just making these names up. They're not like specific names. Um, and the other is the perfect square factor method. Both methods involve factoring. Or breaking a number up into the uh, numbers that multiply into that number. So first the factor tree method. The factor tree method is a little slower uh, but students typically feel a little more comfortable with it. The perfect square factor method is a bit quicker, um, but takes a little more getting used to. All right, so the factor tree method. Basically, if you have a number under a square root that is not a prime number, uh, like the square root of 72, you can break the number 72 up like a little factor tree and 72 is 2 times 36 36 is 2 times 18 18 is 2 times 9 9 is 3 times 3 so you break up the number that's under the radical into its prime number factors because the radical is essentially asking you what number times itself equals this number under the radical, when you have a pair of factors that are the same, those guys come out of the radical as a single factor. Because what number times itself equals 72? So if you found a factor times itself, when you take it out of the radical, you're just going to take it out once. Uh, this being a multiplication, uh, square root being a multiplication operation, uh, all the factors that we take out, here's another pair, these guys come out. We're going to remultiply everything. So a pair of twos 
was in the factorization of 72. So that'll come out once. A pair of threes is in the factorization of 72. That comes out once. And then this two, he does not have another partner to be paired up with. So any single factor doesn't have a partner. That guy is going to stay in the radical. Um, so single factors stay in the radical. Uh, and then you remultiply. Uh, obviously, 2 times 3 is just 6. So the square root of 72 is really equal to 6 square roots of 2. The perfect square method is a little bit quicker. We'll use the same example. In the perfect square method, we're just going to use this result directly, and we're going to look for, uh, are there any perfect squares that factor, or any perfect squares that are factors of this number? Uh, a reminder of the perfect squares, 1, uh, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. Hopefully you have them all through uh, 144 memorized, 64, so on and so forth, 81, 100, 121, 144. The list does go on and on. Um, so for example, if you recognize 72 is really 64 times 2, I'm sorry, 36 times 2. If you happen to realize that 74 is really 36 times 2, you can break this into square root 36 times the square root of 2. The square root of 36 is just 6. Once again, um, in algebra, you'd put a plus minus in front of that. But in geometry, we'll just consider the plus. Um, so we get the square root of 2, uh, 6 square root of 2, both times. So this method is quicker, but it involves you knowing uh, all of the perfect squares, being more comfortable with them, and uh, recognizing large numbers as having any of these perfect squares as their factors. You can do this method more than once. Um, either method, by the way, when you break down numbers into their prime factors, it usually only needs to be done once. Sometimes with this method you have to do a couple of iterations if you don't recognize the largest factor straight away. So I'm going to do one more example in this video. I'd like to keep them under 10 minutes. I'm going to do one more example of both methods, this time uh, with a slightly larger number. Square root of 288. First, I'll do the factor tree method. Okay. <clears throat> well, 288, that factors at least into 4. Um, and I believe that would be 72 times. Let's just double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 72. Um, yes, 72. 72 is 9 times 8. 8 is 4 times 2. 4 is 2 times 2. 9 is 3 times 3. 4 is 2 times 2. So we break up into prime number factors, all of them, and then pairs come outside the radical once. This pair of threes will come out once. This pair of twos will come out once. 
and then this lonely two. He does not have a partner, so he needs to stay in the radical. And then once we figure out which factors come out, which factors stay in, remultiply. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times root 2. You don't actually need to write that dot. I just wanted to reiterate that it's multiplication. Uh, you can just write it like that. Multiplication is implied. Very quick to show you, if you don't guess the largest factor uh, on the first try, it doesn't matter. You can keep plugging away. So 288. 288 is 2 times 144, but if you didn't recognize 144, uh, you might recognize that 4 is a perfect square. So root 4 times root 72. Well, 4 is really the square root of 4 is 2. But then 72, you may realize that 72 is 36 times 2. So 2 times root 36 times root 2. Well, root 36 is just 6. 2 times 6 times root 2. We get 12 root 2 again. And if you practice these a lot, uh, you may instantly realize the largest square root if you're good at factoring, and then you can get there even quicker. All right, going to have uh, a few problems to practice for homework tonight. It's just a quick little sheet. There's only 10 of them. Um, simplifying radicals. They're fun. They're awesome. And these are exact. No rounding involved. Okay. Simplifying radicals.